This is a, a pretty much came from a fishing implement, like a gaff, where you could spear your fish, and then with the tines you could push your boat away, pull your boat in. Um, we have obviously gaffs commonly used in boating areas in the United States, but this is an old style uh, fishing implement. The next weapon is very common in most cultures in, in, uh, in the world. It's just a six foot staff. It's, a, it's called a bowl. And most cultures would use it in this manner, put buckets on the end coming from, uh, you know, collecting water, uh, collecting food, uh, so they could transport it a lot easier. Obviously, it could also be used as a fighting implement for blocking and striking. Very common in most cultures all over the world. The last and final weapon we're going to talk about is called an eku or boat paddle. Sensei designed a kata with this boat paddle. And what's very unique about the way he does the form in, the, in uh, his system of Kobodo is that you never change the hands. It stays in the rowing motion continually and never changes. So that would be the strength and the muscle memory of the fisherman using it in that manner and not changing it in a different manner that he doesn't have muscle memory or strength. So he always uses it in the rowing motion in his kata. That's a short explanation of, of a variety of the Okinawan martial arts weapons. We'll be right back to do some short demonstrations with these weapons so you can see how they're used. Dean! It's always nice to come home, but these days, many Americans are at risk of foreclosure and losing their homes. Making Home Affordable is a free program from the U.S. government that has already helped over a million struggling homeowners like these, and we want to help you. I'm home, I'm home, and I love it, I'm home, I'm home. Find out now what your options are. Go to makinghomeaffordable.gov or call 1-888-995-HOPE. The sooner you act, the better chance we can help you. I'm home, I'm home, where I belong. Welcome back to Simple Self-Defense. We'll now conduct a few short demonstrations with some of the Okinawan weapons. The first one will be the Sansetsukon, or three-sectional staff and the bolt. Hey. Next demonstration will be with the tin bay, the shield, and rochin, the fishing dagger. Hey.
This next demonstration will be with the comma or sickle versus the bowl. Hey. This demonstration will be with the tunfa, or L-shaped baton, and the bow. This demonstration will be with the horseshoe style tickle and the ball. Hey. This demonstration will be with the teach you or hairpin as self-defense. Hey. This demonstration will be with the Nunti Sai versus the bowl. Hey. This demonstration will be with the Psy, the truncheon sword, and the bowl. Hey. This demonstration will be with the Nunti bowl or fishing gaff versus the bowl. Eight.
Our last demonstration will be with the boat paddle, or eku, versus the bow. Thank you for watching this special episode of Simple Self-Defense. I'd like to give a special thanks also to my teacher, Tokumura Kensho Sensei of Tokushin Ru Kobudo. And as always, keep training. Hey!